Newton Crouch Incorporated presents technical tips. Good morning. Uh, we're glad to be here. We're going to talk to you about a uh, Newton Crouch product, the uh, liquid truck. This is a 1,250-gallon uh, liquid truck, but mainly we're going to concentrate today on the 450 Raven Control. The 440 is no longer available, so we're going to concentrate on the 450 so everybody can understand how to set it up correctly. There's two major uh, things you need to know. You need to know the constants, and then you need to put in the data. There are a lot of other things you need to know about the truck and the limitations and the booms and all kind of those kind of things you rate. We're going to deal with those at a different time. So let's get started. NCI has made a worksheet to use programming your SCS 450. It helps you document your constants and data that will be required to program your console. This worksheet is available on our website at www.newtoncrouch.com. Go to Support, Precision Technical Tips, Controller, What Does It Do? In the paragraph about Raven, you will find a link to Raven SES 450 Programming. All information is compiled in the correct order to make programming easy for you. So here we are inside. You can see this is a Raven SES 450. Just a quick introduction. This is the power, the rates, one and two in manual, change, increase, decrease in manual, one of six booms up to seven, and the master on and off for your booms. So you turn it on. And the first thing you see is the constants. You got to get to the constants. So this says US volume, which where most of our work will be done. So you hit uh, enter, then you hit the CE button to go to radar. That's radar two, which is either radar or the, in, uh, the, the receiver in the top of the, where well, this one happens to have a receiver. So you hit enter. The next one is C standard. And you see the valve at the back is a C standard is what we're using. So you hit enter. So now self test to make sure they're correct. You see them all go through self-test. You see them rotate through. U.S. volume, radar 2, C standard. So now you're ready to do the data. The constants you have to enter first. If you make a mistake entering a constant, you have to start over. Start all over by hitting, turning the power off, hit the clear, and turn on the power at the same time. Hold them both at the same time. And you better have everything written down because that clears out all your constants, all your data information. So let's start putting in our information for this specific, specific truck. So boom, boom one, always enter. We already know that it's two nozzles on 120 inch spacing, so that's two, four, O, oh, enter. Use up, down arrow, two is enter, two, four, zero. This truck's kind of unique, it only has two booms. The center boom's not there. So what do you do for all the others? Raven suggests you put in zeros by enter, zero, enter on all the rest of the seven. Okay, so we got to do all seven booms. So here we go. We hit, we hit up arrow, four, enter, zero, enter, five. Uh oh, excuse me. Got to go back to boom. Enter, enter, zero, enter. We'll make sure we did four. Enter, zero, enter. Now up to six. Enter, zero, enter. Up to seven. Enter, zero, enter. Go back up to eight and go back to one, 240, zero, 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 zero. So you're all good. So the next thing you go to is speed cow. This unit happens to have a T-Jet Raven receiver. We tested this over 400 feet. The standard number is 607. We found 610 to be the exact for uh, 400 feet. So you hit enter, six, one, zero, enter. Meter cal is the number we saw on the back. Thirteen twenty for the meter cal. Enter. One, three, two, O, oh, enter. So that's the valve cow, which we saw at the back. Here's 
and you know this is a standard valve, so it has a Pacific number. Enter, two, one, two, three, enter. Okay, so now you got your rates. Rate one is basically you got to go through the whole math, figure out by the tips, the speed, how much pressure you want, which the right tip is for the rate. This individual wants to put out 37.5, and it's very important to know that the 0.5 is there. If you don't put it in, you, you're missing a decimal. So you put enter 37.5, and you see the decimal? So it's in there, so enter. Rate two has to be a certain percentage. You gotta have a number in there. So rate two, let's just put in 50. Enter five zero zero, that's 50. And uh, that basically is the end of all the information that you put in for this time. When you turn on your console, you will notice Cal blinking in the left side of the display the first time you turn it on. Cal will continue to flash until you have entered rate two in your console. When Cal is no longer flashing, your program is complete and you've entered all the data. Do not try to modify or lengthen any of the feed sensor or encoder cables. Always disconnect your battery from the console prior to jump starting, welding, or charging the battery. It will ruin your console. Technical assistance is available online 24-7 on our YouTube channel, or our website, newtoncrouch.com. You can call us at 800-241-1350, Monday to Friday, and speak with a real person. No recorded messages. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to assist you. Proudly, Made in America, a family-owned business since 1940, Newton Crouch.